So I have a story from Pakistan I would like to share with you. And I am not 100% confirmed that it is a trimming effect, but I will show you that it is a current example of trimming effect. So if I am, uh, I, I do something wrong, uh, I show you in advance. Can you Link, link. You guys can just widen and then just click on the link and it just pops up automatically. Yes. The phone got some. My name is Ava, and I'm a travel blogger. Over the last year, I travelled to Pakistan far and wide, north to south and east to west. My videos and content about the country have found millions of views, but I'm not here to talk about myself today. Today, I'm here to talk about what I see in Pakistan and what I believe the future of Pakistan's tourism can be. See, most of my Pakistan friends start to travel when I tell them this. But it's really no joke. I believe that Pakistan can be the world's number one tourism destination. <laughs> if we can. Let me give you a few arguments as to why I'm Starting with the mountains of Pakistan, one of the greatest assets that nature has bestowed on this country. Beyond the current resorts of Mount Jabba and Nilton, why can't ski resorts dot the peaks of these mountains? And beyond that, looking at the beautiful landscapes of Skarbi and Gunza and Salat, why can't Pakistan become the next Bhutan in Nepal with mountaineering and mountain trekking infrastructures that rival those of its neighboring countries? With eight out of the world's 20 tallest mountains, this should be the epicenter of the world's trekking, adventure, and mountain tourism. And just look at the mountains of the south. This is Hingol National Park in Balochistan. Now, why can't this become the next Grand Canyon? Just imagine tourists trekking, hiking, and camping among these beautiful nature-made structures. And while we're in Balochistan, how can we forget about the beaches? The entire coast of the Arabian Sea with the right attitude and vision could become one of the world's prime beach destinations for all seasons. Imagine five-star resorts, private islands, and beach shacks lining this beautiful coastline. Because after all, isn't it beautiful? And isn't it possible? Next up, culture and the arts. Both Sindh and the capital of culture, Lahore, have so much to offer. The craftsmanship and artistry and handicrafts that I have seen are unlike anywhere else in the world. This could be Pakistan's prime export. And imagine thousands, hundreds of thousands of tourists bringing bits of Pakistan with them back home to share with their communities. Religious tourism. Pakistan has such an incredible Islamic heritage. And I know that the Sufi trail of Sindh can appeal not just to Muslim tourists, but to any tourists interested in history and culture. Pakistan also happens to be the birthplace of Sikhism and the travels of Guru Nanak. It's also home to some of the most important Hindu sites in the world, as well as Buddhist stupas and remains of a rich Buddhist heritage. History. Why do more people around the world know that Pakistan is where the world's oldest civilization, the Indus Valley civilization, was found? Why can't Magna Necropolis, Run of the or the Hendra Dara become the next much Picchu or Angkor Wat? What exactly is preventing Pakistan from becoming the world's top destination for history buffs? And of course, let's not forget about the food. Pakistan has such a rich culture of food and cuisines, and the diversity from province to province is just astonishing. Take Lahore and Karachi. Where are the missions of our restaurants? Why can't these places become some of the world's top culinary hubs for food and tourism? Well, this is my answer. It's going to take so much time, effort, dedication, and investment to bring this vision into reality. But I know that the gifts that Pakistan has invested are endless. This is how I see the future of tourism in Pakistan. And I hope that you share my vision. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
सारे बंद कर दो तो तो कमर था let me uh, tell you about a little bit detail of this story actually what was happened uh, i i most of the people are not going to pakistan as a tourist but the pakistan has a lot of tourist sites mostly people are not focusing to going to back pickers like mostly people going to australia canada yeah uh, europe side so what happened when this her uh, girl her name is Eva. She is from US. When she visited to Pakistan, she spent uh, eight months in Pakistan. So when she uh, went to Pakistan, she realized that the people are very humble. Even they are not demanding for the money. If you are going in some shop, so they will not give you. Uh, they will not take uh, money from you. They will give you gifts like you are our guest. 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 You are our guest. It is very honor for us. So she was very surprised. Then she think. Uh, she thought that I will. Tell the whole world what is uh, what is the reality of Pakistan. So she was a travel blogger already. She has a lot of subscribers from all over the world. So she, when she started posting videos, the reality of uh, tourism of Pakistan and the reality of Pakistan, then a uh, very uh, very astonishing stuff happened. Everybody nowadays is trying to go to uh, Pakistan. The Pakistan uh, PIA airlines. This means Pakistan's airline has shown the result that there are nowadays. Number of most of most people are trying to uh, uh, go to Pakistan as a tourist. Uh, as a tourist, so our prime minister also make uh, visa, easy visa policies for all of the uh, all of the countries. So it means that nowadays, uh, um, most people person can make online visa, so they can uh, easily access to Pakistan. So I think it was a trimming effect. So PIA Pakistan's airlines uh, uh, give give her lady. Uh, Free tours, and because the ranking of PIA was getting high, two more passengers are going to Pakistan, coming back back from Pakistan, and Pakistan gave um, Pakistan gave this girl too much respect. And in in the recently recent two days, she she was representative of representative of Pakistan for something uh, for the product of a new something product S10. So she was the representative uh, representation uh, representative of Pakistan. From the Samsung company, so she was in the U.S. So I think it was a trimming effect. If I am wrong, then you can tell me that. So that is that is the end of my presentation.